Hi guys, if anybody is watching. She decided to go live, a bit impromptu, but let's just share the link if anyone wants to join. Please say hi if you're here. That would be amazing. Oh wow, my computer's just gone very loud all of a sudden. <laughs> that's not good. Hopefully that's not too annoying. But um, yeah, let me know if you can see me and if you can hear me. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get cracking on with drawing. So if you're here, hi. some bits of music on. Oh my god, it's thunder and lightning outside, which is so nice. Let's just check my links are all working. Please say hi if you're here. Hi. Oh. Thanks so much for coming on. Hopefully the um just had to fix my internet so hopefully it works now. It's saying the stream is good though so hopefully we're all good. Hi thanks for coming on. I'm drawing um, Wizard of Oz bits and I thought you know what I'll come on a live and see if anyone wants to uh, you know see what I'm up to. I haven't been on here live publicly for ages, so and there's thunder and lightning going on right now. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. Um, so sorry if that's loud. <laughs> How's everybody doing? 
Are we all good? I had yesterday off, so I'm kind of just trying to get back into everything. Priority is finish this box, and this is my final thing for it. Everything else is done, so. Well, nearly done. <laughs> I have a few things I need to make, but we'll get in there. Oh, thank you so much. I did put spoiler on the video because some people really don't want to see what's coming but it's so hard, I have to, I have to share things, you know, I have to post about it. If I didn't, I, you know, I wouldn't sell any of the boxes and I wouldn't have any content because um, literally all of my time is spent working on these boxes so I do need to share them but I thought if I do it on here, I was going to go live on Instagram but you can't really warn people on Instagram. I thought at least here I can put a warning on the um, title of the video and then, you know, they can click if they want to. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I've got a background as well that I need to do. But, um, but yeah. If you want to um, if you want to get your hand on um, this box, this exclusive box, um, you have until the end of the month, but I don't think there's many spaces left. Let me see. Um, there is. Oh my gosh, can you hear that thunder outside? So nice. Uh, we have seven boxes left. So, um, yeah, if you want one, be quick. I've got some uh, fab things going in it. I think it's my biggest box of things. Um, put all sorts in this one, so. If anyone has any questions, by the way, feel free to ask whether it's, well, about anything, what I'm doing, if you want me to explain anything that I'm doing, <laughs> I'll happily do so. Can you hear me okay, by the way? I normally plug in my uh, microphone, but I haven't done, so just let me know. I can't believe once this box goes out, I have two more boxes for the end of the year. I have my Halloween-y autumn one and then I have a Christmas one and then that's it. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, Anna! Hi Anna!
I've got the Scarecrow song in my head. <laughs> oh dear, not good. I hear someone drop it. I was worried about my ceiling in this office when it starts to um when it starts to rain outside. Oh sound is great, amazing, thank you so much. Are you live on your iMac? I really want one. The sound's really good if it's just your computer. Yeah, it's just a microphone on my iMac. And it's not the best. I mean, I don't know if you can hear how loud the fans are working on the my iMac. Um, it's, it is struggling, I think, to do stream and tablet and Photoshop, but it's doing all right. Um, Leanne! Yay, you're a donut! Thank you so much. I'm so glad. You'll love it. There's like eight eight things coming in this month's box. It's my biggest box I've ever done. Um, this, what you're seeing right now, is the print. Um, but I have, I've illustrated a lot for this box. Lots of characters, lots of things. And I have someone amazing that's made a product for the box as well, so it should be really fun. Leanne, now that you're a donut, you also get access to the secret shop. So um, if you scroll back to like one of the first posts I did this month with discount codes and things, because you get 20% off now, um, you'll find the link to the secret shop. So have a nosy in there and see if you want anything. There's like postcards and stickers and all sorts. <laughs> Anna, I miss you so much. Can you believe how long ago it was? Like, when we worked together, it's just craziness. Playing jazz, you were playing your saxophone when we were working, and it was so good. I won't lie, I've got a banging headache today. And looking at this screen and this bright light in my face is probably not helping. Um, let's see. Um, Oh, hi Adele. I want this box so bad, but I have a yearly membership. Do you know what? I didn't realise. So when you sign up for a yearly membership and you want to upgrade, you have to pay the yearly membership on the upgraded box. Is that, is that right, Lauren? Um, which is really frustrating. Um, so maybe I'll contact Patreon and see what we can do about that. Um, it could be that, I don't know, even know how I could do it. The only thing I can think, Lauren, is sort of, because I don't have many people that are on a yearly membership, I won't lie, not many people do it. So it could be that you just kind of, I 
PayPal you the link to just get that box, but that means then that you don't get the content that because you're not when you upgrade to a donut tier, you're not just you're not just getting the box for your money, like you get so much more content. And I can't give you that, like I can't gift memberships or I can't like get people in different tiers for free, do you know what I mean? And um so I understand Lauren that that's annoying. Have you contacted Patreon? Can they do anything about it? Um The alternative, I don't know, maybe message me, let's figure it out because, I mean, I don't know how to do it. I'm not sure. Um, how does upgrading tiers work? Like if you just want to do it for this goodie box? Yeah, so what you do is you upgrade today or before the end of the month and then on my back office it tells me that you want, you've upgraded and you need a goodie box and then even if you like downgrade the next day um you still have you still have access to that tier for the rest of the month it just means that next month you'll be back on your normal tier so um if you don't downgrade and you don't cancel you'll be charged on the first in the top tier does that make sense so i mean it's not the end of the world i can always like refund you and fix that problem if it ever happens but uh if you want this box and you say you're on the cupcake say you're on the cookie tier you upgrade, pay the difference, um, you'll be flagged on my like back office that you need a goodie box, which is fine, and then maybe tomorrow I'll just downgrade. And um, it just, you'll still be a donut for the rest of the month, but it just means on the first you'll be back to the tier that you want. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. <laughs> but I don't have many spots left. If Leanne's just taken a spot, then that means I have, let's see, let's just refresh the page. Yes, yeah, it's a six now, six spaces. Alternatively, if you just want to, if you kind of want a little bit of this, but you can't do a full box, you can join the postcard club, which is my new thing, and I'm really excited about it. And there's not many people in it, but you every month every month I will send you a postcard um, and like kind of every other month it'll be the postcard that goes in the goodie box so um, it's not going to be this that you're seeing but the postcard for this month is very cool it's very different um, so you know if you can't stretch to a full goodie box but you want a little bit of Wizard of Oz you can join the postcard club and you get something from me every month then And I'll show you, um, because you're on here, which means you don't mind spoilers, right? <laughs> um, I showed them on my vlog, but the um, sticker that's going in the box is this one, and it's a glittery ruby slippers one. It says, there's no place like home. So it's um, a really cool vinyl sticker. I'm actually having them remade, <laughs> um, because I know these look great, but they, there is a slight issue with them in that the coloring isn't right. Um, the socks are meant to be blue and they, they're not the right color and there's like a grid pattern going on. So I messaged the company because they gifted me these um, in the hopes that I, well, they want me to share them on Instagram. And I messaged them to say, look, I don't want to complain because you've sent me these for free and I'm so, so grateful, but I don't want to share them because you know, they're not perfect. Um, and they were like, okay, no worries, we'll send you new ones out. So um, these are the sticker, but they're not the final ones. So I'm um, very, very excited about these. So that's just, so you've seen a few things. If you watch my vlog, you'll have seen uh, The Wicked Witch. Uh, if you're watching this now, you can see the print and you can see the sticker, but I have other things coming. There's like eight things in total, so I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> but this print should be really good when it's done so it's going to be full colour and then let me show you the sketch behind it's very bad but we're going to have um, in the top right is um, Emerald City in the background and then I'm going to have like fields with like the yellow brick road coming through and then on the left hand side we're going to have the rainbow and then some poppies on the left 
Um, so yeah, I think it should be a nice, nice little uh, print when it's done. So I'm going to be here working on this all day. Whether I stay live all day is, a, is another question because honestly I'd be on here for like eight hours. Okay, I want this eye to look a bit like droopy, but I don't want him to look ill. <laughs> okay, that'll do. I need to do all the straw bits coming out of him, but I think I'll do that when I'm painting it. So, should I move on to Toto or the Tin Man? What, what shall I do next? You tell me what you want me to do next. Toto or Tin Man? Let me know. See what gets the most votes. Just check my emails. Uh, Toto, Tin Man. Oh, one of each. So we've got Toto, Tin Man. Let's see. See if, if which one gets to five. Okay, Toto's at three. Oh, it's saying error. Hang on. Um, it's not receiving enough video. Oh, gosh. Can you see the stream okay, guys? It's saying there's an error. Let's see. Hmm. Saying. Let's bump this up and see. If that helps. Can you still can you still see me okay guys? It's saying error. I don't know how to fix it, but it's saying error. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Okay, will you just keep me updated in the chat if it if it starts to have any problems? Um Okay, I think Toto is. Toto's the one, so let's do Toto. Um Okay, good. Just keep me updated so I don't have to keep... Okay, it's gone to excellent condition now. I don't know what's wrong with it. Right, let's... Uh, let's do Toto then, shall we? Has anyone watched this film recently? I watched it um, obviously to prepare for this, but um, it's just a classic, isn't it? So good. I mean, I absolutely love musicals anyway, and I absolutely love Judy Garland. Um, so I'm really happy to have done this book. But I, I mean, it's a hard one doing like fan arty stuff because I don't sell it anymore and I don't, you know, it's such a controversial thing, isn't it? Um, I feel okay doing it as a Patreon box. Um, and I think I'm going to do a fan art type box like this every year. Um, you know, because I, I do six boxes a year. And, you know, they're not just little boxes I put together. Like, I put everything into these boxes. Um, I have them planned out for months and months and months. Um, and, like, already I'm thinking about Christmas. And last year I did an enamel pin. And I'm like, right, how can I one-up that? And um, Anyway, so I do six boxes a year. I do a mermaid box. I do a Christmas box. I do a Halloween box. So then that leaves me three. So, um, you know, two of them I'm going to leave open to, like, whatever I think of. And then I think one box will be fan art um, or inspired by a film or, 
and like Wizard of Oz is obviously this first one, but I can already tell you now, I've already decided what next year's is going to be, <laughs> if you want to know. Um, because I don't know, I can't get it out of my head and I'm, I really would love to design prints and things and I can't obviously sell them because it's fan art, but by the way, I know how weird this looks. <laughs> Fur is so hard to do um, and the most of it comes from the actual colouring painting process, so don't judge him yet. I know he looks strange. Bye Anna! Love you to pieces! This hair looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah, trust the, trust the process. Lacuna Moon. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so excited for you to get a box. Depending on how quickly I get this print done, <laughs> uh, it'll be sent off to print today. And I'll be starting to package everything this weekend. I have... Um, one product to finish making in the studio um, everything else it has been made externally or is being made externally um, so I'm kind of just waiting for all that to be finished but I'm on track it's all good I'm really excited I'm really excited to see it all together But yeah, next year, so I've decided the fan art box next year is going to be Mary Poppins. So we have a year to wait. <laughs> but um, I really think I can put my spin on old Mary. Oh no, that eye is not good. I'll do an eye after. And I'm really excited. I can't. I'll probably do it a bit earlier in the year because I don't think I can wait this long to do, to, to do it but I can already tell now it'll be a very beautiful little box. Okay, Toto looks a bit scary, but I think when he's painted, it won't be. <laughs> oh, yay, Danielle, would you like the sound of that? Yeah, I think it'd be really fun to do a bit of uh, Mary.
Right. Do you want me to do, um, oh, let's see. How is Luca doing now? Luca is tons better, back to normal. Uh, driving me crazy. I'm absolutely exhausted. He's uh, deciding to just wake in the middle of the night, which is fun. I thought we were past that, but obviously not. But yeah, he's a happy little soul. How do you like your Huey on tablet? Is there any major differences from your Wacom that you've noticed after using it for a while now? Uh, I love my Huey on tablet. Um, I, if you offered me a Wacom right now, I would stick with Huey on. Um, well, it depends, you know, if you're giving me a really fancy whack on for free, I won't say no, but um, I'm very happy with Huion. Um, major differences? I, I don't know. There's nothing. I can't. It's lovely. I love this tablet. Um, I'm not a fan of the wiring system. It's a very short cable. And to get another one that works is a pain in the ass. I've ordered different ones and they don't seem to work, so that's a bit annoying. So you've literally got a meter between your tablet and your computer, and the way I've got mine set up, it's really awkward. So that's a bit a bit annoying, but there's, I love it. Love it to pieces. For the price point, I think it's amazing. Um, I can't see a massive... I can't see a reason why I would, say, get the Wacom over the Huey on. Um, I wish I'd have done it sooner, to be honest. Well, there we go. <laughs> I think a lot of it you're paying for the name with, with Wacom. And obviously there are some things that, you know, the tablet is amazing, but I'm really happy with my key on, so. Right, do you want Tin Man or do you want Lion? What do you want next? Let me know. Um... Anybody? I'm thinking Tin Man. Unless somebody wants differently. <laughs> and then I can start getting some colour on. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint the characters and then do the background afterwards. Um we'll see. Oh Lauren, thank you. I'll oh I can see it here. I'll I'll message you once I'm done on here. Tin Man. Okay, let's do Tin Man. can't get the music out my head. <laughs> What's your favourite Wizard of Oz song? Let me know. Oh, the rainbow. Such a beautiful song, isn't it?
I'd play the soundtrack now, but I don't think uh, YouTube would like it. I should have set up like a viewing party. We could have all got like started the film at the same point and watched it together while I was doing this. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? I think this will be very different for people to see me drawing like this because I mean I don't do characters like this often but I mean this is very much like the sort of stuff I would do when I used to work in studios so to me it's quite normal but I don't you know draw like this often so it's nice to do something a bit different Uh, did Luca enjoy the Disney film Luca after? He adores that film. We've watched it a hundred times. Uh, yeah, he loves it. You can sing it. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't tempt me. <laughs> I can put the soundtrack through my headphones and yeah, jam for you guys. Um, how did you get your first job in a studio? Did you know anyone or was it just through your applications? Any tips? Um, it was hard work <laughs> is what it was. Um, so I just left uni in 2013 and a lot of my friends moved to London to work like Anna who was on here earlier you know she was my closest friend at uni. She got work in London and she's worked on some amazing films now but um, I didn't want to move to London, I wanted to move back to Manchester, so uh, I just started applying for studios, animation studios, but, you know, there's not many, well, there definitely wasn't many in, you know, eight years ago. So I applied to all the ones I could think of and really didn't do well, didn't hear back from most places. Um, and just kept trying and it took... Well, I graduated in the, I left uni in the May, graduated in the November, um, around the November time was when I bought my first drawing tablet and taught myself how to draw, thinking that might help me, because I was applying as an animator, 
um, but I wasn't a great animator so that's why I didn't get any jobs. So I started drawing quite a lot and then the start of that year which was 2014 I had met with a local newspaper and asked if I could draw a cartoon for them every week in their paper while I was looking for jobs and they said yes they paid me £20 a week to draw in their paper um, and from that I applied again for another studio and said look I'm doing this now and I think they liked that I was being quite proactive so the studio, well I say a studio, it's very small but um, the guy who ran that place messaged me to say um, like we don't have a job for you but if you're interested in being an intern you know come on in so that's how I got my foot in the door really I didn't know what I was doing and I thought I was going to be an animator but they were like well we've got this drawing tablet here and you know you should sit there and draw some things <laughs> and then you know, before I knew it, I was kind of the main artist of that studio within a year. I mean, it's only small, very small studio, but that's how I got my foot in the door. Um, so, yeah, and then I was there for four years, three, four years. Um, and then another studio got in touch through LinkedIn and asked what my current situation is with my job and you know would I be interested in meeting them for an interview and I wasn't really enjoying my job at the studio it had gone very quiet so I you know sat down with the boss and said look I'm gonna go for this interview and I think you know, I think he was sad, but he knew that I wasn't happy where I was and it wasn't work for me. So I went for that job interview and that's, that was, I'm not even looking up. I don't even know if this is interesting. Is this interesting to anyone? Um, and then I uh, went for the interview at CHF. So that's Cosgrove Hall, if you guys know Cosgrove Hall. So I went to an interview there and um it was great. They uh, they offered me a job uh, working on a show called Daisy and Ollie. I don't know if anyone knows that. And I was really tempted to leave my job and move there, but the uh, commute would have been crazy and the hours were long. So I turned down the job, but um, I turned down the job, but I also quit my job because I thought, well, if if a studio is reaching out for me on LinkedIn, then surely I've got skills there that I could maybe go freelance and maybe figure it out. Um, and that's that's what I did in 2017. I could I could carry on, but yeah. <laughs> um, uh, proactive to ask a lot. You've got to. I have to. I'm one of those that I don't. Um, some of you might realise this, but I'm not somebody that sits and waits for opportunities. I'm so like, if it's not coming to me, I'm going to go out there and get it. <laughs> and uh, I'm, that's probably like, is it a quality? I don't know. But I've always been like that. Like, I don't wait for things to happen. I'm just like, right, if it's not happening, I'm going to start it. I'm going to be the first person to do it. Um, and that's what I did with the paper. I didn't even know if it was a thing that you did. But I just emailed them and I was like, uh, hi, you don't know me, but I draw and I want to draw for your paper, so can we have a meeting? <laughs> and it was great. But it was good because I learned how to draw fast. I had to, so I had to read the stories in the paper on a Monday and Tuesday I had to submit my drawing by the Wednesday and it was in the paper by the Friday so I had to be quick with my ideas and um, yeah it was good, good little lesson 
I did it for a year. Um, and then I stopped. I stopped because I got so busy in my studio job. But I was so grateful to have it. And earning £20 a week for my drawings was nice, you know. It's a nice little thing to get me started. But it's so hard now. This, I mean, there's more studios now, but competition is crazy and some insanely talented people out there. Do you have any of those illustrations from the paper? I'm sure Bob kept them all. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we kept any. Um, I think we kept them at the beginning and then we realised that this every week these papers add up. But um, maybe I'll have to see if I can find any. I definitely don't have any here and I don't have any at home. So yeah, maybe my mum does. Um, I'll see if I can find it. I think I'll probably have like photographs of the paper. Um, I'll see if I can find them. Do you draw on paper ever or are you a fully digital artist? I'm not sure where I am trying to do more digital. I don't draw on paper. <laughs> Everything I do is digital. Um, I used to think it made me less of an artist because I didn't have a sketchbook. So I used to start a sketchbook in the hopes that it would make me a better artist. <laughs> but um, I just don't enjoy drawing on paper and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, like if I was to try and do this on paper it would not look good, I know for a fact it wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I am purely a digital artist. Maybe can to switch the house to pitch and say we need a thing to start to a pitch. Just then a witch to satisfy a witch to play on the blues like a fool on a witch. Can't get that out of my head. So I've sang it now and I'm hoping it's out on that. It's out. Um, would be great to see them in a where I started type video. Yeah, it's a good idea. I will. I'll, I'll try and hunt them down. Um, I think, let me just see if there's, hang on, this could be interesting. Um, I'll see if I can find like a link. There might be some online. I don't know. It's quite an old school paper that's not going anymore. So let's see. Okay, there's an article saying that I've left. I'm not doing it anymore, but let's see if there's an article about me starting to do it. Hmm.
It didn't used to be called Emily Harvey Art then. It used to be E. Harvey Illustration, I think. So let me just check. I'll, I'll send you a link so you can see. I have done a blog post about it. That's what's showing up here. But, um... No. It wasn't digital then, so... Okay, I'll send, I'll have a look at this. This is a blog post I wrote about it, but there's an image in that blog post with the paper. Does that make sense? So you can have a nosy there. I mean, looking back, the drawings were really bad. <laughs> but I'm proud of myself because I hadn't been taught how to, like everything I did on a drawing tablet back in 2013 that, you're, that you see on that blog post is, is me like learning myself. <laughs> um, you know, my tablet cost me like 50 quid from Argos and I just learned how to do these things and I had to get better fast and I did an animation course at uni so although we did some work with a drawing tablet and I did a bit of Photoshop stuff I think I, I had no clue what I was doing in terms of creating illustrations like I could paint a texture for a character at uni but not very well so Still thundering and lightning out there. <laughs> uh, will these illustrations be on sale for non-patron members? Sadly not. Um, anything that's in a goodie box is exclusive, so I don't have it available to sell afterwards. Plus this is classed as fan art, which I don't sell uh, in my shop, but uh, yeah, sorry. There's a reason I keep the amount of boxes a month limited to 100, just to just keep that exclusivity about it. So. 
So, we're getting there guys. I need to finish the scarecrow's arm, finish the basket, and then I can start painting. Oh, I need to put some straw on the scarecrow. Let's do a little bit of straw. Um, let's see, all I want for Christmas one looks similar to, oh I don't even like, I've not even look, looked at that article, let's have a look. Oh yeah, you're right. I haven't looked back at some of these since I did them. Yeah. So funny. Oh, love you, dude. Oh, what's happening here? Let's see. Right, let's um plan of action is let's do this basket. I'm desperate to get painting, but can't rush it. I don't know why I've not done his arm here because I've definitely sketched up his arm. Oh my god, can you hear the thunder? You should do a Hocus Pocus inspired one for Halloween. I can imagine how amazing you're taking it. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm yet to think of a Halloween. I um, have some ideas of what I want to do, and I'm thinking, spoiler alert, um, I'm having a washi tape made, patron exclusive washi tape made for that box, but um, I'm yet to finalise the, the plans for it. I should definitely like plan this before I just start drawing it, but oh well. Oh my gosh, the thunder is amazing. Can you guys hear it? Is it picking up for you?
I love your podcast. Thank you so much, Angie. That's so kind of you. Okay. I think I am going to start adding some colour. So, who do you want me to paint first? Let me know. Because I won't stay on the live the whole time I paint this, because I know that'll be extremely boring. <laughs> Uh, let me know. Let me know who you want me to paint first. Let's see what's happening. Oh. Toto, you want me to paint Toto first? You can do. Anything else? Anyone else? Let's see. So let me just name my layers. So that's Dorothy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love it. Let's see what else that's there. That's scarecrow. And guys. It's an empty layer. We have Toto there, and we have, okay, it's a bit of Dorothy there, so let's put that there. Dorothy, and we have another empty layer, we have Tin Man. Another empty layer, what am I doing? And then the lion. And there we go. Those are my layers named. Um, oh my gosh, you're all different. Total Dorothy, Tim Man, Dorothy. Okay, there's two Dorothys, so I'll start with Dorothy. Um, any advice for artists just starting out? Um, just draw lots, practice lots. Don't stress too much about posting on social media and like keeping up with all that just spend three months drawing constantly um, and get good and get really good get really confident um, yeah I wish I had the time to just sit and draw all the time and get good like get better and improve um, for me I have to just every new illustration I do for work I just have to use it as an opportunity to get better but just do that just start try new things try different styles don't focus too much about getting really really good at one style try different things see what you like and enjoy doing um, like you can see that link I've just shared with you they're drawings I did eight years ago when I was just starting out like it's been a long eight years to get to this point and I think people just want to get there really fast and have the most amazing drawings overnight and it's not going to happen so the more you draw the better you'll get so just start now It's really lightning here. I don't know if you can, if it's picking up on camera. You've seen flashes in the corner of my eye.
It is so nice drawing when it's stormy outside. I absolutely love it. When I hear storms though it makes me want to go on holiday. <laughs> I don't think that's normal. But, like tropical storms and things. I'm so sad that I won't be able to go away. But hopefully next year. Just flashed again. Good. Oh, my headache is really bad now, though. <laughs> this isn't fun. <sighs> Must power through. Sorry, I'm just not even talking, am I? I'm just in my own little bubble. <laughs> I just forgot that there's like 30 people watching. Um, hi. What's the time there? It is quarter past three in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, 2 a.m. go to sleep.
I don't even know what eye colour Dorothy has. But I'm going to give her blue. My Dorothy is going to have blue. I think I'm going to shade her now. I was going to do colour for all of it, but I'm going to do each character in turn. I think we'll see after I've done Dorothy. Young Dorothy had brown eyes, older Dorothy had blue. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll stick with the blue then. I don't, I'm just doing a draw the singer style. I'm getting tired, but I don't want to start this in case I lose motivation the next time I draw. Yeah, but oh, the problem is when, you, when you're when you tired, you rush things, or I certainly do. I find myself starting to rush um, if I'm tired, because I'm just like, right, let's get this done so I can go to bed. Whereas stopping, coming back to it the next day, um, I usually, will, like do a better job because I come back to it with like fresh eyes um yeah there's pros and cons to both I suppose I feel like Dorothy's hair is a bit darker than this but I kind of like it I like it like this <laughs>
Hi, Holly. Is anyone getting bored yet? <laughs> I know it can be a bit boring. Let me know if you want to see um, any of the illust illustrations I've done for the box. Um, I hinted some on the studio vlog, but I have put Spyro on this video, so I don't mind showing if you want to see another character that I've done. Oh, you'd love to see more. Okay. Well, if you saw the vlog, um, hang on. Um, if you saw the vlog, you'll have seen this. Um, hang on, it's just opening the file, which is obviously the Wicked Witch that I did. Um, and then I've also done. Glinda. <laughs> so we have Glinda, we have the Wicked Witch, um, and then this will be the full, the full characters, and then there's some other little bits and pieces that are coming in there as well. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just do full character, like lots of characters and all sorts of things. So yeah. I'm excited to see it all come together in the next few days. But this illustration is going to take me hours and hours and hours <laughs> to do. Probably the longest illustration I've done for a long time. So I hope I hope everyone likes it.
Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. And wait till you see the maker that I've got. Um, yeah. It's going to be such a lovely little addition. I don't think people will be expecting it. And I think it might have arrived today. I need to come check the post room and see. And the product that you know this this person's made, I mean it's lovely, but I normally I approach a maker because I've seen a product they do and think, oh, that would look good in the box. This person I wanted them, I wanted to get them seen by as many people as possible. And I was like, right, I don't know what you can make for this box, but I want to get you in it. So it it's so amazing that they've made something just so perfect. Um, and I get to get their name and their products in front of a hundred new people. Um, it feels really special. And this person's been lined up since the start of the year. They were going to do last month's the mermaid box. Um, but then when we chatted more, we realised that this box is probably more fitting for them. So I pushed pushed it back a bit. Right, this gingham dress. I've never done gingham before, so this should be fun. No idea how I'm going to do it. Might take me a few attempts to get it right, but I think I'm just going to get all the shadows working on the dress first, and then I'll get the pattern on there. Right, let me just, um, bye Marie, um, let me just sort of look into, um, Gingham and her dress, because I can kind of picture it, but I know game reference would do me so much better. So, it's essentially... Right, so I think what I'm going to do is change of plan. Her dress is going to become white. And then, right, stick with me guys, please don't judge this yet. And then... going to just do it section by section and see how it looks so and then either that looks great or um, 
that looks a bit messed. The trick is to have them slightly opaque so that uh, transparent so that when they cross it makes a darker so square. I think that I think that will work okay so let's do some more. Do you know what I've not realised though? <laughs> the lines don't line up. So let's do that again, but let's try and get them so that they line up all the way across. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense, is it, Emily? Gosh. I did too many before. And then down is fine, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I think I think this is gonna work out okay. Not the neatest, but I think it'll do the job. Such a small part of this illustration. I think it'll be fine. Um, my mum just found a snake in the garden. Holly, where are you living? <laughs> you mentioned a headache. Could it be the storm? It could be. It's like here and it's at the back of my head. That's the worst bit. It's like a pounding right there at the back. I don't normally get headaches, um, but this one's really, it's bothering me. <laughs> I might have to take a step away from the screen for a little bit, but I don't want to because I really wanted to get this done today. But I also don't want to do a bad job. So if stepping away... Okay, that's looking quite cute. Uh, it sounds like a tension headache like mine. How I looked it up and apparently it's a thing. Oh, thank you. I'll, um, I'll look into it. I don't have any tablets or anything to take while I'm here, which is a bit annoying, but... Hey -ho.
Okay, it's looking quite cute, right? I feel like I've done mine too far away from each other. Feels really messy, but no. I do need a first aid kit. You are so right. I will get that done. I will get a first aid kit. You know what? I don't really take tablets often because I never really am poorly. <laughs> It's rare I get a headache or anything like that. The, the last time I had bad headaches was when I was pregnant. First trimester, sorry. It was the only like symptom I had. I didn't have morning sickness. I was never sick. I had headaches that absolutely killed me. And no, I'm not pregnant before anyone asks. <laughs> um, but it was just the worst. And no, well, I used to have headaches and like really strong smell of things and like that would make me have headaches and yeah. But yeah. I used to just sit at my desk, because this is when I used to work in a studio, with like forehead patches on, you know those like blue gel ones. People used to laugh at me, but it was the only thing that got me through the day. And especially drawing like this all day. It's brutal. Okay, I don't love that. Don't necessarily think that looks amazing, but um, I'm gonna leave it for now and maybe come back to it. Um, have you got your blue light filter turned on? Oh. I don't know how to change it, but maybe I should. I don't like to do anything like that though. What do you mean on my tablet? I might have got you completely wrong with what you mean. I 
And I think that will do for Dorothy for now. And I'm going to move on to... I'm going to move on to the Scarecrow. Oh no, Dorothy. No, let's do uh, Toto. You like Toto, didn't you? So let's do that. Um, Adele, thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, I'm going to go through and find that. Let's see. Colour. Uh, temperature. Colour effect. Oh, but you see, this is going to throw me off when I want to export the picture. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep it like this for now while I know what I'm doing. And <laughs> the colours are going to be off. Um, right, Toto is like a, a muddy brown colour, right? I'm going to do that and then I'll check to see if that's right. There's a big scarecrow competition in my local villages at the moment. I saw a Freddie Mercury scarecrow. <laughs> That's funny. That must be... Sorry, I'm not talking, my head is really hurting now. <laughs> I might stop in a minute. My 
head is just banging. Oh, I've been oh, painting for nearly two hours, <laughs> so that's good. Right, yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get a glass of water and um, do something else for half an hour. Try and get rid of this headache before I carry on again. Um, but yeah. If you're a patron, goodie box patron, you will see this very, very soon, this final thing. Um, and if you're not a patron, I will share it on Instagram when everyone's got their boxes, so in a few weeks. But yeah, thanks for being here, thanks for watching this with me. You're amazing. If you've not watched my last studio vlog that I put up on Monday, please go and watch it, that'd be amazing. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.